Well, we had a showcase of the Xbox Developer Direct that came out on January 18th, 2024. It's a very interesting look ahead at what's coming out in 2024. Today, we're going to talk about the Indiana Jones release uh, of that trailer because there's some things that just don't look right, but then there's other things that look absolutely amazing. So let's take a look. You know, Harrison Ford, I, he, he's a great actor. I think he does very well. But he's not involved, it seems. It seems it's being voiced by Troy Baker. So where does this lie? It's going to be an interesting retelling of a story that's putting it in between two other stories that have already been told in a very strange timeline for Indiana Jones. Before I get fully into the video, do me a favor. Like, share, subscribe, do all those fun YouTube things, and don't forget to comment down below. Now, the Xbox Developer Direct. It, it, it was a very interesting thing to watch. You know, Vision of the Mana is probably the, the one shiny spot of it. Uh, Avowed looks interesting. I am kind of looking into it. There, They do have a previous trailer from about seven months ago that looks a lot more interesting than what they showed in the Developer Direct. But Indiana Jones and the Great Circle. Mm, name? Eh, I'm, I'm whatever. But it, let's take a closer look at this. I'm going to bring up the actual trailer instead of the one that they have there. Now, already, I, I look around on, on YouTube, on Twitter, and I'm seeing ads for this everywhere. Um, they are pushing this hard. So it's very interesting how much is going into this. If there's something behind it, like they're trying to make up for lost revenue of the movie that came out last year that no one even remembers at this point. So you can see this particular scene, if you look at his hand, it, you can zoom in and see like his fingerprints and stuff like that. It looks, this part here looks absolutely amazing. And even his hairline, like all of his hair looks, every fine detail is there. The, the bad guys in the background there, every detail really does look there, right? When, when he turns and gets to Indy. Dead and forgotten in the sense of Africa. Right, this look, this kind of reminds me of Uncharted uh, with the Nathan Drake sort of look because that's kind of what I get here now. Um, this CGI version of Indiana Jones here, there's something off about it. And to me, I, I can't help but to think of the Polar Express um, because everything that we saw with Tom Hanks in the Polar Express is the same sort of idea. Um, this movie was panned because it was very very jarring for the CGI, but overall it's a Christmas movie that gets shown every year to kids. And it's the same sort of thing. Now I see more detail in, in the indie show, in the indie game here. I'm calling it a show at this point because it's probably going to be a, a, a very heavy cinematic game with puzzles that you unlock. So every puzzle you unlock, it's just gonna be a whole cinematic to open something up. There's combat in it. The combat looks, uh, what I saw looked like they, they were stuttering a bit, but I don't know if that's because of the monitors or the the video frame rates in that sense. Uh, for But for gameplay, it looked very strange. There's this clip with the mice or the rats here. Scott. Right, you can see how they jar forward a little bit. Buried. Like every every couple frames, it, it's something I notice. It's not necessarily something everyone's going to notice. Uh, it didn't to me. It doesn't look like a smooth transition. Like this scene here looks absolutely gorgeous. It looks very good and detailed. Sometimes live stream the game Green Hell, and this is kind of what it looks like. You're in the middle of a jungle and it's just greenery everywhere. And it absolutely looks like this. Todd Howard. Now here, the big thing, I'll, by the way, if, you, if you're noticing here, I've gone, it's on the Bethesda Studio um, YouTube page. This is a game being put out by Machine Games, which is owned by ZeniMax. And Todd Howard is the executive producer. These are the people that 
Bethesda and Todd Howard, they're the people that recently brought you Starfield, um, Skyrim back in the day. Now Starfield has been a very jarring mess when it comes to the facial structures of everyone in it. You go look up videos for it. You, the, the, the faces that people are making are just absurdly, and that might be where we're going here. Now Machine Games, they're known for Wolfenstein. Now you, show me your identification papers. <clears throat> Just who the f are you, white boy? No one more for the World War II bad guys in that sense. So it'll be very interesting. They should have the knowledge to do an indie game. But Bethesda is written all over this game. They're not the ones making it, but they're heavily involved, especially with Todd Howard producing. Now we got this guy here. This guy here, you know. The first thing I saw when I saw this, I was like, uh, Vin Diesel wants his look back. Maybe maybe his car back. I, I'm not quite sure because he's just stealing some sort of uh, relic that is very important to the story. This, this scene, like this, looks like it's movie style quality with the eyes coming up like that. But then it goes into the cheesy smile and the illusions, the CGI takes over. It, it, to me, the CGI makes makes the movie toned down a little bit. Um, it might be different once we see this actually in production, once this is out there on the market. Um, this, of course, is a trailer to, to market very well. But I, I don't know. I don't know. It To me, it just feels like a lot of the scenery, like in this case, it, to me, the lighting looks like it's overbaked. And if you understand what baked lighting is, things that they do for video games, when they put it through the lighting after image and, and the lighting effects and all this other stuff to create lighting. Um, what, the game Phasmophobia, uh, recently, uh, oh, this is last year now, it's a while ago, they redid uh, their, their baked lighting on a few of the levels and it brought more detail. It brought more of the lighting up to uh, the standard of a of a game that people want to play. This looks like it's been overdone. It looks like the lighting is being used very heavily in this. And unfortunately, when you get into the heavy lighting aspects, of the technical specs of it, when you do too much of it, now your system's going to be running at a higher frame and, a, and the optimization won't be as good. Now, this is an Xbox title. It will be coming to PC. I don't believe it's coming to PlayStation. So it'll be interesting. It'll be more optimized for the Xbox than it will be for the uh, PC, of course. The great circle. Like him moving his mouth like that, but not moving and moving his teeth. I, I, I don't, I don't like that. It, it doesn't look natural. All of these moments are much more. It looks so jarring. It looks so jarring with the, the combat. The fist fighting combat, like his hat goes flying. Kind of being reserved here because this is Bethesda. Bethesda being a very buggy mess. They came out with Redfall last year or they were involved in Redfall and people couldn't even play it at launch. I'm worried about this. Uh, it is going to be more optimized for the Xbox. It's not going to be your PC. Like it's coming out on PC, but I don't see it being as good on PC. I'm not entirely sure what's going on here. Uh, obviously you gotta put something in this disc to, uh, I'm guessing it's as a sacrifice. So I would say it's more blood, but it's in a wine bottle. So you gotta wonder. Fight. Once again, it looks the way he, he's talking. What do you mean if I can keep up? Right here with the concept art, sort of looking here it it looks good the concept looks good but that's indiana jones if you ever went to the the display that went around the world uh showing off everything in there looked absolutely amazing it, it, they they went over so many little details that indy goes through and the archaeology and everything behind it it made it more of a fantastical vision for indiana jones and that's what this concept art really brings forward you know you got another one here you can see the war planes in the background so it's taking place in that wartime 
So you can see here, Xbox Series X and S, the PC and Game Pass, it's going to come out uh, 2024, of course. The biggest thing, uh, the biggest gripe a lot of people had with the uh, Developer Direct was there was no actual release dates. They, they just gave us years and a quarter, maybe it's coming out. Uh, where this one's 2024, this will probably come out, I'm guessing, August, September would be my guess, because that's when they get, can gear up for the awards for the year. Overall, you know, it looks good. The, the trailer brings hype for the indie scenario. The movie that came out doesn't do it any favors. And the fact that the Bethesda is tied to this in some way, it, it leaves me a little bit more reserved. It, it doesn't give me the hype that I think that this, this game will bring. This game is probably going to be a, a, an absolute amazing game. But then you got to think of the price point. The price points is probably going to be for up here, probably $90 Canadian, $80 Canadian, maybe. Um, that puts it at a range that the game needs to be absolutely perfect to justify the money. We've seen too many games in the last little bit where they come out and they're just a buggy mess, not optimized for the PC. Um, and in this sense, it's coming out on Xbox. If you own an Xbox, you're probably ahead of the curve because they're going to optimize it for the Xbox and not PC. Uh, we've already seen this with other games. I, you know, I, I look forward to this game coming out because either A, we're going to have an amazing game and maybe, maybe I find a way to pick it up and we play through it or we're gonna have a game that's an absolute buggy nightmare of a mess and I'm gonna be back here reporting on it. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm your proud Canadian Phoenix Center Shadow. I'm signing off here. Have yourself a great day and don't forget to like and subscribe.